The lockdown comes after UNA management failed to allow students to register for free, blaming the ministry for failing to clarify some contents of the letter sent to UNAM. By the time we arrived at UNAM's gate, only close to 20 protesters, including Nanso, could be seen denying entrance to students and staff. Both students and staff were locked outside, and those who were inside were those who came as early as 6 this morning. Many students were seen stalling outside and asked about the demonstration. They noted all they wanted to do was to register. Most first-year students our news team spoke to wanted nothing to do with the drama and were not keen on partaking. One UNAM staff noted that the lockdown demonstration could have been avoided if the ministry could have learned from the last lockdown and take the necessary precautions. He said the situation is embarrassing. Nansa Secretary General Dimbulukweni Naoyoma says his organization will not leave any stone unturned. If they don't want to meet our demands, we'll close the university one after the other. And the whole country will come to a standstill. UNAM SRC Vice President Victoria Shipale wants the ministry to act fast to the letter to avoid delays. Our plea currently is that we need clarification and assurance from the ministry as to who is going to write off the debts because they have given a directive to the university, but we are unclear. That directive is very vague. UNAM Public Relations Officer Johannes Halfiku says UNAM is still waiting to hear from the ministry on the matter. The priority for us remains the same. We've communicated to the ministry with the clarifications that we urgently need in order to be able to implement what they have moved that we implement. So without that correspondence, the university's hands are tied. Meanwhile, Hafiku called on the demonstrators, including Nanso, not to get personal with the protest. The UNAM PRO, after meeting with Nanso last night, started receiving intimidating messages from unknown numbers with a specific message on Facebook, allegedly coming from the Nanso Secretary General. The Nanso guys that we had, that I had met, one of them posted on Facebook that I'm offering bursaries to students for free, which is a hoax message. And as a result, I also got a few messages all the way up to 2 a.m. as well as prank calls, uh, basically calling me and hanging up and heavy breathing and basically uh, in trying to intimidate me. The demonstration continues as the university management is meeting with the ministry to agree on the way forward. All activities at the university are currently suspended until further notice. Iwusemavku, NBC News, Banduk.